When I was a, a little boy, I used to dream a lot about jungle, hmm? animals, and I, I, I love to see animals. Hmm? Animals seem to be better friends in a way. So we used to go into the forest. So even in dream, hmm? I used to go into the forest. <coughs> and uh, one day, really, a tiger was chasing me. <laughs> I was running and running, and I couldn't run anymore. I was about to fall down. That is nonsense. What is this? Why am I running? After all, it's a dream. <laughs> Inside the dream itself. <laughs> a flash came. I didn't wake. I was still sleeping, dreaming, but within the dream, an awareness came. What is this? It's, it's a dream. The tiger is coming, but it's a dream. I'm going to stop. So sometimes in life also it comes. And everything comes tight to your throat. Ah, what is this after all? I didn't bring anything. I'm not going to lose. Nothing was ever mine. It simply came. Something like, say, you meet a friend in the compartment. And uh, when his station comes, he says, bye, <coughs> shall see you sometime later. He says, oh, we became bosom friends. How can you leave me and go? Huh? Huh? You come with me or I come with you. Huh? Sir, you have your business. We just met there. Huh? You still have to go. Your journey, your ticket is still there. My ticket is over. I have to get down here. I bought only up to this much. Huh? Life is like that. Partners come like that. Husband, wife, children. A child is born, stays there for six years. Then all of a sudden one day say, Mama, Papa, it's time for me to go. I have finished my job. I have to continue. Huh? Oh, my baby, you gone. How can I be without you? It's all just crocodile tears. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is ever going to die with that. Huh? I've seen many people. As long as the body is at home, you cry. Honey, did you go? How can I survive? I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, what happens? They couldn't uh, take the body that same day. So the body has to be kept. <laughs> Still, tomorrow is the funeral. And... Uh, relatives, all the relatives didn't come. So there was not that many people at home. So the neighbors who came to help her says, we just go and do everything and come tomorrow morning. We will do the rest. So please be here with the body. My gosh, you are leaving me all alone with the dead body? Why? It's your honey. You said, honey, how can I be without you? You cried when we were all sitting here. Huh? Now you say, be here with him, we are going. You say, oh, I can't be with the dead body. So which is, which is true? Don't you hear people doing that? Hmm? So what is this honey business then? It's all Maya's trick. Take it, accept it, as long as everything okay. When the time comes, when things go, at any cost, don't allow your peace to be disturbed. Neither the honey brought you peace, nor she can take you peace, your peace away. Things come and go. Accept it. <coughs> And until you learn to accept things, then you have to do something. 
theoretically it's okay yes i'm accepting everything that's what yeah. the truth comes now and then is something like sun is always there truth is always there but often the clouds come if you remain as the sun you don't worry about any cloud hmm? all clouds then they come and go you don't get affected by it but if you put yourself as the cloud hmm, or as the person this side of the cloud that's what where do you position yourself that's very important so truth remains and that is what a spiritual seeker should do constantly even under adverse conditions oh that is the truth and why should i worry about all this i shouldn't be affected by it if it so if it has to happen let it happen otherwise no i accept both truth helps you it slips but still you catch it again and again in the beginning it will slip very often maybe you remain in the truth say about 10 minutes a day all other time you are hmm, in a different level but the more you think of it gradually this side develops you learn to remain in the truth for a longer period and that is what you call achievement retaining the mind in peace under all conditions imagine when you came first how often you would have got disturbed eh? even for a trifling thing oh i didn't get that food enough or i didn't get that room what i wanted eh? i didn't get enough money pocket money so many things but gradually well these are all nothing trifle <laughs> my purpose is something my goal is something different if it comes i accept if it not no it doesn't matter and that is what you call growing you live in the truth slip go back slip go back and there will be a time that slipping reduces and there will be one time you retain there ever and then just for the fun you come down a little <laughs> yeah you don't need to be sitting there always <coughs> without losing the ground put your leg a little here hey i am also huh? that's what and that's what you call get the key first <laughs> ramakrishna used to say if you want to visit a, a a new town as soon as you get out of your plane or train you just turn go sightseeing till midnight because it's an exciting city you go around see everything till midnight and then when you are tired when you are hungry when you are sleepy then you don't know where to go and sleep by the time you go there every hotel restaurant is closed yeah, or filled so ramakrishna says as soon as you get out look for a hotel get a room throw your suitcases in <laughs> lock it put the key in the pocket then roam around even till 12 o'clock 1 o'clock 2 o'clock midnight you can come back open that room and sleep you book a see a room for you that's what book your room where you can comfortably sleep eh, when you are tired and then go get tired <laughs> hmm? without making the reservation if you get tired you won't know where to go hmm? it will be too late every door would have been closed so a sensible man will first make reservation and make it permanent and as soon as he arrives he will confirm it and get the key don't even wait for the key because even the reception office would have been closed that's what seek ye the kingdom first 
then all the rest you can have fun later on. Unfortunately, we say, oh, kingdom can wait, let me have my fun now. Hmm? Hmm? There's a wrong thinking. It won't be really a fun then. Hmm? Secure your life well. Hmm? 